right. So have you guys ever been, have you, has anybody ever actually gone on the racetrack and not just to show off their hat, but to actually bet on horses maybe just for fun? I had a friend who was really into it and he'd make like three grand every time he went down there because he was consulting. He'd go down and watch the horses and he'd do it. Oh my God, I don't want to put that much work into it. Anybody ever bet on horses before? Yes, you have, just for fun. I mean, right? I don't want to get into it if you're like, yeah, and then I got into big time debt and it came out and broke my thumbs. I don't want to get into that. Uh, so I've done it before. I mean, just with friends. My family came into town and I took, we did it down to Del Mar. We, we did, and I bet on a horse that was like 30 to 1 odds. And it, and it came in. I'm like, shit, why didn't I put more than two bucks down? Uh, so the thing about odds, we hear about odds all the time, right? And I don't know how much you guys know about them. What are odds? One, three, five. Kick ass. I always got to wait to see. I got several smart asses in the class. I wasn't sure who was going to do that. Who was going to beat the, the other ones out. The chances of something happening. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's related to probability. So once you see how it's related to probability, they become pretty straightforward. So... Let's say that we have a horse, and the probability that the horse is going to win is like, let's say, four out of, let's make it four out of, what you got, Jeff? Make some up. Four out of nine. So what's probably that horse is going to lose? Five out of nine. Five out of nine. It's crazy. All right, so slightly more likely that the horse is going to lose than it's going to win. So you have two different types of odds. The one that's normally given to us is what's called odds against. What are the odds against something happening? So we have odds against. And I'll show you the by the book kind of formula for this, and then I'll give you the more straightforward, direct way to do this. The by the book way for this is the probability of uh, losing divided by the probability of winning. This is section 12.3, by the way. More generally, because uh, a situation might not be lose-win, it might not be a race. So more generally, this would be probability of success. Uh, sorry, failure. What's happening out there? Something's getting thrown around. No, sorry, I saw like was it pretzels flying through the air? Is that what it is? You got to be careful with the interception. Was it interception? Okay. Um, so in this case, what would this be? Five four says the horse going to lose. Dude, there you go. So for this case, the odds against this horse, the odds against this horse winning would be uh, five to nine divided by four to nine. Are you guys cool with that? Yeah. Fractionception, right? Fraction inside of a fraction. The over nines cancel, is that cool? So the shortcut to this, that's the last time I'm going to do it that way. Because that's just crazy. That's what it really is. That's what it built on. But the bottoms are always going to cancel, right? They're going to always be over the same thing because they're related to the same situation. So it's going to be the number of times you would lose over the number of times you win. That's the odds against. Now the odds in favor would just be the reverse. It would just be talking about it from the other way. How are we doing so far? So these odds, so normally it's given to us as in this form, 5 to 4. That's the way we normally see odds. Because it's not really a fraction in the true sense, because 5 over 4 is bigger than 1. That's a little bit freaky. So that's 5 to 4. So where is the total number? So what does this really mean? What does that really mean? The probability that this horse is going to win is 4 ninths. What the hell does that mean? 4 out of 9 times he wins. Good, so give me a better interpretation because probabilities don't make any sense until you've done something a lot so if the probably I'm going to flip ahead is half it's 50 percent if I flip 1,000 coins I'm going to get roughly 500 heads so this means for every nine races I expect this horse to win four times that's roughly right on average so if, if this horse was in 90 races I would expect them to win 40 times how are we doing so far so where's the nine here? Yeah, exactly, five and four. So the, the total of these is always related to what the denominator was here. 
that kind of makes sense. Because what if what do these have to add to be if they're really opposites? They have to add to be the total if they're really opposites. And of course, they must be success, failure. All right, how are we doing so far? So I want to show you something real quick. Um, this is kind of interesting. I mean, I don't, thank God, I don't have enough money to do this a lot. But I just looked up the, uh, there's a, this is Hoosier Park in Indiana. Which one was it that worked? This one. Uh, let me see if I can. The interesting thing to notice, this is kind of small here, but can you guys see this? What is this here? Yeah, so that's the, the odds. I like it. So, like, for example, uh, these odd, these are these look like they might be good, but what does that really mean? Ten to one. So if for every, so if that's ten to one, you with me? That's why they didn't show the one, because it's ten to one. So if that's ten to one, for every how many races, what will happen? For every 11 more races, you'll win one. Exactly, 11. Because like I told you, if they don't say, it's normally the odds against that they give you. So the first number is the number of times he's going to have a failure. So in this case, we're talking about horses running a race. So for every, where'd he go? This poor little dude I'm picking on, right? For every 11 races, he would lose 10 of them. So you can see why this guy is in a different color. Right? He's, he's going to, he's what? Why is he in a different color? Because he's on to the best odds. He's got the best odds, at least the ones I can see. I think that's everybody. The next best would be this, 7 to 2, right? So, so what is this? these odds, 3 to 1? What's that mean? So odds 3 to 1, what's that mean? Yeah, for every four races he wins once. This is losses. So odds are almost always given to us fails first, wins second. Right? Failures, successes. That's weird. I know. Go for the 10 to 1. So it'll be 3 chance he's going to lose. So 1 fourth chance he's going to win. How are we doing so far? I mean, this is, uh, and again, these are not the odds that a lot of us see. I'm sure most of us probably aren't into horse racing that much. Some of us might be. Are they changing as you're looking at them? Yeah. yeah. So why? Because this race hasn't happened yet. This is actually going on right now. This is kind of cool. Uh, so everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody pick a horse. 10-1, going for it. Well, East on here. Write your horse down. Pick a horse. So you got... Are those really the names? Yeah. Oh, That's man. half the reason to go, man. Yeah. Or, you know, at least look them up. You don't have to even leave the house. Some surprise. i got to show you the first race. I was looking at this in my office, and the first race, if I remember correctly, was won by a long shot. The name of the horse was, Will I Win? And sure enough... It was like a 30 to 1 shot, I think. We'll see. I have to look up. Has everybody got a horse picked? If you want to, obviously, I'm not going to take money. I might get lose my job. I'll take bets. Let's do it. All right. If I condone that, I'll lose my job. What's the race happening? Uh, in the next uh, 15 minutes. I, I'm not sure. This stupid site doesn't tell me so what time. Do we wait? Well, we'll just look back again later. I mean, we can watch it live. Has everybody got something? Yeah. Has everybody got a horse pick? If you want to play along. No, no, out of, so this guy, nine to five, 14 races, you never see the total, you always see the total in probabilities, unless you reduce it, you'll always see the total, you never see the total in odds, odds gives you the number of times you lose, the number of times you'll win. So you have to add them together to get the total. So out of 14 races, this horse is expected to lose nine of them, win five of them. Now, why are these changing? Because these odds are, are, are built on how much money people are betting. Doesn't that make sense? The, the horse that people bet a lot of money on, when you build these odds, those odds are going to go down, aren't they? Do you guys see what I'm saying? Because that means that they're calculating that, oh, that horse is probably going to do well. We have all these people. It's kind of like crowdsourcing uh, evaluation of horses. Right? When people place their bets, these odds are updated as more and more people place their bets. So the ones that the horse that gets the most bets is going to have the lowest odds, which kind of works out because that they base their payout, how much money you get, based on their odds. The higher the odds, the more money you would get. So, of course, they're going to make the really low odds if a lot of people are picking that horse. They're also going to be cleaned out, trying to pay everybody back. So, then, 
Aren't the odds just arbitrary? To a sense. Now, now look here. Look below this. Uh, you, can't, you definitely can't see that. It's not like the when horses it's know how much money is bet on. So it's, it's contingent, though, then, on their record and the bets. You're right. This number is completely based on bets. This number is based on professional handicappers coming in. It's called the morning line. The morning, I think it's called the morning line. As you can tell how much I'm into this. Uh, not much. So this morning, the professional dude came and looked at the, watched them race, put their odds down. They, he thought it was a 21, 20 to 1 shot. And then the crowd thinks it's a little worse than that, based on how much money they're putting down. You guys follow? So obviously... This is what they base their payout on because that it makes sense because it's adjusted by which horse is getting the most bets. I don't want to pay a lot out for that horse, right? But if I'm betting, I'm going to look at this one and kind of, you know, that's the one that really tells me more about the horse's abilities. To kind of follow? Because we're not, you know, the crowd is not experts on horses. So they might be going, I like the name Muscle Lady. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they would be betting on anybody. Okay. But let me see. I already I wanted to check. Now I'm curious. Was it that? Yeah. Look, this is kind of cool. Will I win? Came in first. He paid out forty-five twenty for a win, which is roughly twice. He had the odds twenty-one odds, twenty-one to one. So twice that is roughly forty-five no, It's A little more than that. So I don't know how they calculate their money. You guys kind of follow a little bit. I mean, I'm not here to teach you how to bet on horses. I just wanted to give you one real-life situation where you see odds, right? You also, anybody play cards, uh, like, for real, for money, not for Oreos? <laughs> like poker types hold up. All right, and do you ever use pod odds? Uh, that might mean different things for you. No, explain it. So pod odds are, are trying to figure out your expected value. So you know, when you're playing poker, oh, you all know the basics yeah, of... Your percent chance of winning... What you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you try to figure out how many cards would help me versus how much money is in the pot, and you try to figure out how much money would I expect to get if I did put more money in. So some people are all about that, and some people are more like, you know, I will try something. You know, so so you, you kind of pick it up. So either you can analyze the hell out of it, or you can just kind of pick it up as you play, right? Uh, you always play for the long game. So if you lose a tournament, you almost don't care because you're basing your bets on what would happen over the long run, because that's how probabilities work. All right, again, I'm not here to teach you how to play poker. You don't want me to teach you. If I knew, I'd be out of here. I'd be playing poker, making a lot of money, but I suck at it. Oh, right? it I, like I know the math, but I suck at the, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, what do you got? No, I would suck. I, I, my emotions are, are on my sleeve. So. Can you teach us how to count cards and take us to Vegas? Like oh, yeah, we can remake that movie 21. Yeah, sure. Have yeah. you ever seen that? I do the whole compartment and teach you how he's out of chief. The more is fish after this, right? Uh, oh, which race were we? I think it was race five, right? Fly out of time. Was it this race we were looking at? No. I forgot. Uh, no, these are all. Uh, I think race. If it's race it four, that's four. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So who? Anybody pick chips for all? I gotta take your word for it. Here. <laughs> all right, you get nothing. You get nothing, but you get recognition. Good job. Did you pick it? Why did you pick it? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I like it. And then, let's see, Jailhouse Mammy came in second. Yes? All right, sweet. And then DM's Guitar Superstar, of course. And then Randy D. Popra, hey, this is really freaky. It fits right in. Uh, anyway, so that was kind of neat. So, I mean, um, it's better to play without real money. Yes. Normally, crazier. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, would expect I doubt they're calling like these aren't endearing names that they. I, I take care of them in my house. They're not this crazy. Oh well, come on. There's different yeah, well, uses. Winners, uh, shake it to win. <laughs> these are pretty tame, actually. <laughs> Baby shoe buyer. That's a little weird. <laughs> Sultry song. Such a bad boy. Want to be a Four weeks. <laughs> uh, criminal element. Anyway, so yeah, so one good thing is to look, don't close your eyes. That's good Sweet advice. Sweet Sweet Shark, I love it. Jola. Jola? 
Right, There's some stuff about pot odds on Wikipedia. Uh, those are kind of dull, man. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's no chips for all. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's no no those seed biscuits. Alright. So let me give you guys a couple problems to try out. Here, let's see. Oh. My book is a magic book with all the answers. So if I roll a die, find the prop, find the odds against a two, sure, an odd number. Oh, that was a good time. It's coming. 